Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to unroot your Galaxy Note 5. I'll back to completely stock with stock firmware. Uh, it is actually really easy. Um, you can go ahead and use Odin and stock firmware, but for those of you who don't know how to do it, let me uh, guide you through. Um, first of all, go to About Device and find out the model number of your Galaxy Note 5. So I have a T-Mobile Note 5, so I have an SMN920T. Make a note of that, and next we're going to go ahead and put this into download mode. So go ahead and power down. Um, just like you root at your phone, we're going to go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the power button. Alright, go ahead and hold it down. And let go of the buttons. When you see the warning screen, uh, hit the volume up button. It should say downloading. And go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. And let's go to our computer. All right, next, go ahead and go to my site, galaxynote5root.com. And then go to uh, Note 5 stock firmwares. All right. And then go ahead and download the appropriate version. So I'm going to go ahead and download the one for SMN920T, as you can see here. Uh, if you have Sprint, Verizon, or you have a Korean stock firmware. Uh, if it's not listed on this page, try samfirmware.com. Uh, that's S A M F I R M W A R E.com. You can go ahead and download a bunch of international ROMs there also, if it's not listed here. Um, go ahead and download that, and also go ahead and download Odin. All right. And once you download them, by the way, I'm using a Windows 64 bit. Uh, it should work on any Windows. If you have like a Mac or Linux, you may want to run uh, something like VMware. Alright, that's out of the scope for this, but I do recommend using a uh, Windows computer, it's a lot easier. Alright, so next go ahead and uh, go ahead and unzip the file, uh, this firmware file. So I've got, for me, this is the actual firmware file. I'm going to go ahead and unzip it. Inside is a uh, .tar.md5 file, so I'm going to go ahead and extract it. Go ahead and extract. And also while that's extracting, go ahead and download Odin. Um, go ahead and double click on it and extract all files. If you have downloaded Odin before, you can go ahead and skip the step. This will create a folder called Odin3 blah blah uh, in your downloads folder there. All right, and also uh, I am unzipping the stock firmware file. For uh, as long as you have the same model number, um, you can actually use another country for international firmwares. If you have like an N920i or N920f, um, your country code may change, but uh, it won't affect how your phone works. All right, it, I've got it unzipped here into this new folder. All right, so let's go back to our download folder, go into this new Odin 3 uh, blah blah dot zip, and go ahead and run, double click on the exe file, the Odin program. Go ahead and run it. All right, and this is very important. You should see this blue highlighted uh, com sign here. It can be any random number. If you don't see this, that means um, you don't have the proper drivers installed. Uh, if you don't have proper uh, drivers installed, simply download the Note 5 drivers. I'll have the link on my site. Uh, run the MSI or EXE file, double click it, run it. Uh, unplug your phone and plug it back in and you should see this blue highlighted sign if you don't see this um you know you you gotta fix that also you can go ahead and try using a different usb cable uh, and ports believe me that fixes a ton of problems all right next you're gonna go ahead and choose ap and go into your downloads folder and go into the folder where you unzip the sock firmware for me it's just n920t blah 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 go ahead and select the file ending in tar.md5 hit ok by the way, if you're flashing the wrong firmware, uh, Odin will not allow you to do it, so it's pretty safe to do, all right? So don't worry about that. Uh, if you mess up, it's just simply not gonna let you flash it. Also, um, make sure you flash the same version uh, or higher, newer, otherwise it will not flash. So for example, if you're on 5.1.1, you wanna flash 5.1.1 or higher. All right, you don't want to flash like 5.0.2, although 5.0.2 right now doesn't exist uh, for the Note 5. So right now it's actually checking MD5. Uh, that's just checking that the file is okay, and then it'll say finish successfully. Um, go ahead and hit start, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and this will flash uh, the stock firmware, and your phone will be just like new. Now one note, uh, a lot of you will probably ask me, 
uh, is Nox reset it. Uh, it can't be reset it once it's tripped. Uh, it can't be reset it. Um, so usually most carriers, most US carriers, they don't even check for that because they will actually take the phone apart if you send it in for warranty. Uh, but if you are in international country, if you're um, de dealing with Samsung directly, not through a carrier, uh, they may check it and say, you know, you're, they may not honor your warranty. So just make a note of that. Of course, you can always wait like a year and until you're out of warranty and then root your phone. But if you're watching this video, you've probably voided uh, the warranty. My best suggestion is to use a case and don't lose your phone. Um, that way, you don't have to have worry about warranty or get insurance, all right? Um, you know, if you tend to lose your phone often, uh, you probably a good idea to get an insurance anyways, or if you tend to drop it or something. Uh, for me, I stopped getting insurance actually because I'm really good about my phones. Even though I have like a million phones, I actually take pretty good care of it. I've not lost any single phone. I let my dad borrow my <coughs> Galaxy S3 and he lost it. He left at a hotel. Um, so <coughs> it's really up to you, but uh, rooting just gives you a lot more options. Of course, it will void your warranty for Samsung devices. Uh, if you don't like that, you can go with something like Nexus devices. You can unvoid Nexus devices, no problem. Also like OnePlus One or OnePlus Two. They don't have these counters and stuff. You can go ahead and unroot, unbrick. Now this will bring you all the way back to stock firmware. Um, if you're coming from stock like myself, I'm actually on like a DO Codex uh, stock ROM. So if I flash this over, uh, it's simply going to put me stock and it's going to let me keep all my apps, all my settings and stuff. But if you're coming from a stock ROM, or sorry, if you're coming from a custom ROM, you may have to do a factory reset, which will erase everything on your phone. So before you started this guide, um, you should have backed up everything. All right. Or what you can do is reroute it uh, and reinstall the ROM you were running to get your phone working and then back up everything and re repeat this process. All right. Once you see pass that's good to go and let me actually show you what the phone is doing it says installing system updates erasing and i'm gonna go ahead and change the camera angle real quick here all right guys you can get rid of the uh usb cable you don't need it anymore and my phone is rebooting and i'll also show you how to do a complete factory reset if you're coming from a uh like a custom rom then you'll have to do that and it will wipe off everything or maybe you're returning your phone for warranty i will also wipe off everything so there's no personal info left right and this should boot up here in a second but that's how you do all of the different samsung devices the reason i'm making another video is because some people don't get it i mean you know you guys might be searching for Note 5 on root on break and you might not find a video about it. I'm so I'm making video every time I'm getting a new phone. Uh, but the exact same process, make sure you learn this process. It's gonna be great if you have a lot of Samsung devices or in the future if you root other Samsung devices. It is exactly the same thing. Whether you got the uh, uh, tablet, phone or whatever, um, this is gonna help you uh, basically unroot any Samsung device. It's exactly the same. Just grab the Samsung firmware. Samfirmware.com has all of these uh, Samsung firmware. So go ahead and grab there, get Odin, drivers. Um, drivers are actually compatible with across all the Samsung devices. Process exactly the same for all Samsung devices. That's why, I, you know, in a way, this is a great way to unroot your phone. Uh, the standard Android method, I actually don't like it because you have to unlock the bootloader, which erases everything. Um, Samsung devices have unlocked bootloaders. Unless you have AT&T and Verizon, they've locked down the bootloaders. All right, that's pretty much it. This should uh, optimize the apps, whatever, and you know we should be on the way to go. Uh, this should have a fully stock ROM. Also, this will also overwrite your stock recovery. Right now, you'll be able to also receive uh, OTA updates. All right, and another way you can do this uh, without doing this, if you wanna just go back to stock to uh, receive OTA updates, you can also just reinstall the stock uh, recovery. Just extract the stock recovery image. I do have instruction uh, over at tieonandroid.com. Just Google it and you can go and flash the stock recovery using Odin and then you'll be able to take OTA updates. Not on the ODX ROMs. If you're on just regular stock ROM, you root at your phone, then all you have to do is um, unroot using the Super SU. Also, I do have a tutorial on that and reinstall stock recovery. Or if you don't want to bother with all that because it's sort of actually more complicated, 
just go ahead and grab a stock ROM, flash it. Um, you'll need the stock firmware, you know, either way. So that's pretty much it. And also when you're downloading these ROM files, make sure you're on Wi-Fi, don't download on your cellular connection because these files are like two gigabytes and you're gonna have like this huge bill if you try to download on um, cellular. Unless you have unlimited, grandfather unlimited, like AT&T, Verizon. But the thing with Sarah Shellier, they're not as reliable for large file downloads. And if it stops, you'll have to start again. So again, just go to Wi-Fi, go to McDonald's Wi-Fi or something and download these uh, stock firmwares. I'm sure you'll find a way. But I'll be back when this optimizes. It's going to take forever. All right, finally booted up. And you'll see that I've lost uh, zero apps. My phone is working just fine. Uh, obviously, I've got to lose root. And where's my super ICU? Uh, it is disappeared, I think. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. All right, so that's how you can unroot your phone, complete back to stock. You know, maybe you want to just run stock. Uh, also, if you end up in a boot loop, uh, most likely that will happen if you're coming from like a stock uh, custom ROM, right? Or maybe you get a bunch of force closes. What you can do is do a factory reset. Now, remember, you'll lose everything on your phone. So make a backup of uh, everything before you do this. And for those of you um, who didn't do that, uh, what you can do is, is flash twerp, all right, using Odin, and install whatever custom ROM you had on there. And then it will boot up your phone without losing any of your data. And then connect it to your hard disk, uh, backup everything, and do this process again, and you can do a factory reset. So once you have done that, uh, volume up, center home, and power. All right, same way how to get into twerp. Let go of the power button when you see the logo, but keep holding down volume up, center home. All right, let go of all buttons and you'll get into the stock recovery now since um, we've unrooted our phone. So from here, it is pretty simple. Uh, wait a second here and we will be able to uh, do a factory reset. I'm not going to actually do it because it's going to erase everything. I, I want to keep all my stuff, but I'm just showing you uh, what to do here. All right, so once you get here, you can go to wipe data factory reset. Hit the power button, say yes, and if you say yes, this will erase everything on your phone, but it will uh, make it completely stock, right? That's what you do, but I'm not gonna do it, um, but that's how you do it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that was how to unroot your Galaxy Note 5 with stock firmware. Uh, I'll have some more custom ROMs coming here soon, but uh, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope, and as always, I stay on Android.